All right, now this is my let's just talk everything. Uh, this is kind of for my community. Let's just talk everything community again. That community is just a community where we're just talking about everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a Facebook group, two Facebook groups that I run online. Um, and again, I made it this group specifically because I know that I talk about a lot of different things. I have a different groups for different things that I do, but I also want to also be free to talk about other stuff. So this group is just that. And the topic at hand today, man, is sleep paralysis. I've been talking about this for a minute. I've been wanting to talk about this for a minute. Um, I know there's a lot of people that go through it. I know there's a lot of people that have experienced it. Some people have different perspectives on what exactly it could be. Um, I have my own perspectives, my own um, ideas. Some people believe it's spiritual, demonic. Some people believe that it's just a dream, you know, kind of like something that's happening biologically like puberty. And so I guess the question for me is, have I ever experienced it? I have. I have. I've experienced it multiple times. Um, it's actually funny. I actually just heard a story by Mr. Ball, and he's a YouTuber that tells stories. But I heard a story that he was telling about two boys that also, in essence, I guess, experienced it in some sense because their body, like, didn't produce any dopamine after nighttime. Um, but in essence, man, sleep paralysis is just when you are asleep, you fall asleep, and you just can't move. Right. Like you're kind of awake. You can hear things around you. You can hear people around you. You can hear certain interactions, things of that nature. But you can't move. No matter what, you just can't move. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, you just can't move. Um, essentially, that's what sleep paralysis is. Um, and it, again, is a type of thing man, that many people find terrifying. I've heard of some people who experience it almost every night. My goodness. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that was me, yeah, you know, I could not bear that. Um, I know some people like myself who only experienced it, what, twice in my life. Um, But the weirdness that happens when it does happen, you know, for me, it has been, you know, it's, it's been feelings of people someone pressing against my back, a hand pressing against my back or someone feeling like someone's literally leaning over me. Like I'm facing toward the wall while I'm sleeping and feeling like somebody is literally leaning over me and is, or like whispering in my ear or like pressing really hard on my stomach. I mean, on my back to where you can feel the cover, the, the cover on your bed, like, denting in you know but you're awake your eyes somehow are awake you're registering things around you but you just can't move no matter how hard you try and i've tried i've literally felt so desperate to wake up in certain moments of sleep paralysis to where i literally feel like i want to just like if i could just fall out my bed you know, if I could just cause some type of external pain or shock towards my body, that I will wake up. And that, that that's kind of how it has been for me in terms of trying to get out of it. Um, and obviously you're waking up in sweats and stuff. And I don't even know. I'm not even sure if I've ever fallen out of the bed when having it. Like if maybe I've kind of like finally somehow ushered myself off the bed and fall out, fall fell out of the bed and then like was still in it. I don't think so. But in any sense, man, again, it's almost as if you finally get released and then you're able to move. But, you know, it's such a trippy feel of how you are awake, but you're not in a sense. You see everything in the room. And some people have mentioned that they see figures, right? They see black figures. I've kind of seen that shadow, black looking figures. I feel like I've seen it. I can't really remember, but I feel like I've seen it. For the most part, it's definitely been not seeing that thing, but more so just feeling it. Um, and again, it's it's, it's very trippy, right? Because you just don't really know what this is. Is it supernatural? Is it just a trip of the brain? But then again, again, you ask yourself, okay, how can the brain make your 
covers feel like it's pressing in on you. It's trippy. It's trippy. It's creepy talking about it. But again, my brand is all about talking. We're going to talk about this thing. Let's just talk everything. And we're talking about it. But sleep paralysis is something I think a lot of people don't like talking about, me, myself included. Um, it can be a bit tricky, trippy. But at the same time, I feel like talking about things kind of help you get past them. So I do feel like it was a conversation I kind of wanted to have with y'all, man, just like a personal conversation. Y'all let me know, too, in the comments, man, if y'all experienced it. You know, I would love to know if anybody have experienced uh, sleep paralysis as well. And what was your experience? I'm going to tell some stories on my Let's Just Talk Stories um, podcast. Like, I'll, I'll talk about that a little more. Um, but I wanted this to just be more of a general, you know, topic on it and and exactly how it kind of looks and what kind of goes into it. But, um, yeah, man, all I can say is, you know, what I, I I looked up, I think, studies on it or what doctors say about it. And I think from their perspective, they've said something along the lines of when you deprived yourself of sleep for a while, when your body is kind of very sleepy and you de- you've deprived yourself of it, that's when it goes into that state. So in, so in essence, the body is trying to lock you down to sleep. In essence, it's locking you down like. You won't be able to move and stuff. You may be up and things like that, but the body is literally trying to shut itself down so that it can rest. And so you that's why you can't move. That's why you can't get up. I've heard those explanations. But um, again, what do y'all think, man? Supernatural or not, man? Let me know in the comments below. This is your boy Trey with the Let's Just Talk Everything podcast, man. Um, Again, would love to have y'all on these Zoom calls. So if you want to join, the link is below for any of the groups or you can hit me up to learn more about it, man. But nonetheless, Stay safe. Don't be watching nothing creepy at night time so you can avoid these sleep paralysis and get sleep. It's your boy Trey. I'm out.